Hi everyone, it's Annie back with you once again. Let's dive straight into the message without further delay. The inspiration behind this message, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14, left an indelible mark on my heart and mind. The scripture reads, You are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Allow that to sink in. You are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. In the grand scheme of our lives, we often feel unseen, unacknowledged. But God assures us, in this season, your light will shine so bright that it cannot be concealed. Your aura will be so radiant that it will attract attention far and wide. Recently, my nights have been filled with profound revelations. God has been keeping me awake in the quiet hours of the night, praying and interceding for my friends, my family, and those nearest to my heart. A recurring vision has been presenting itself to me, one of an explosion. This vision is not of destruction, but one of a geyser erupting, a remarkable liberation of suppressed power. It's a symbolic illustration of how rapidly and dramatically things can swing in our favor. God is showing us that it only takes a single divine intervention, one divine moment, to totally revolutionize the course of our lives. I cannot emphasize enough the gravity of this revelation in the spiritual realm. God is preparing us for a blessing so immense, it's like an explosion. It's as if you'll retire to bed one evening living one reality, and by the time the sun rises, your life will have transformed in ways you couldn't have fathomed. God is set to change your life so profoundly and so suddenly that it will feel like a miracle. Your crowning moment, dear friends, is indeed upon you. And in the blink of an eye, God proclaimed, it's going to burst forth. This divine revelation is not universal. It's a prophetic message meant for specific hearts. You'll recognize it if it resonates with your spirit. God is priming you for a period where you'll cease to simply blend into the scenery. He assures, I've already removed the blinders from their sight. They now perceive you as the individual I planned for you to become. They might appear unconcerned, yet they are cognizant of your existence, have faith in my words. Allow me to recite a narrative that might illuminate this matter for you. I was recently engaged in an in-depth conversation with a colleague, strolling down memory lane about my initial forays into the realm of gardening. The year was 2021 when I first laid hands on my personal patch of green, transforming it into an oasis. I brought in a young woman, an up-and-coming landscape artist, to help me shape and nurture this space. If she happens to read this, she'll know I'm only speaking the truth. The garden bloomed into a spectacle, surpassing all my dreams. However, as our working relationship blossomed, I noted a shift in her attitude. You know that unsettling feeling when someone belittles your capabilities, treats you as if you're somehow lesser than them. I experienced a similar sentiment with her, a mild disregard, a diminishing commitment in her craft that didn't quite align with my values. In short, I decided to end our partnership. But as it seems, God had other ideas. He led me to re-engage her services for a new undertaking. When I approached her once again, her reaction was unexpected. She addressed me by my full name, despite the fact I hadn't introduced myself in such a formal manner. It was clear that her view of me had evolved. She treated me with a newfound respect and admiration, a striking departure from her earlier behavior. It's captivating to see how perceptions can shift over time. There's a profound lesson in this. It's remarkable how, in one season, while nature is still shaping you, individuals might fail to recognize your worth. They may regard you as ordinary, as a common person, because they have yet to grasp your true potential. However, as God guides you onto a path of growth, as He positions you atop the hill, making you visible to all, as He amplifies the light within you that's always been there, He also reveals the true colors of those around you. Those who failed to recognize your worth, who treated you indifferently, suddenly start acknowledging your presence. 
They try to reconnect, acting as though they've always valued you. This is the divine way of teaching us about people's changing attitudes as we evolve and grow. As we move closer to our crowning moment, we become more visible, and those who overlooked us before will start to see us in a new light. One of my friends attended an event recently where she encountered this same young woman. She was brimming with enthusiasm as she recounted our association, mentioning me as a client and all the work we had done together. It was in that moment I realized, in this season, God is rewriting the narrative. He is transforming the words of your detractors. He's reshaping the lens through which people see and talk about you. Whether they harbor fondness for you or not, they will be compelled to acknowledge your worth. This young woman, who once failed to recognize my potential, is now boasting about our professional relationship. It reminded me of the importance of never underestimating anyone. You must treat every individual with respect and kindness, for their current state doesn't define their future. Today's underdog could be tomorrow's ruler, shaped by the hands of God himself. When I observed this transformation, it was as if God whispered, this is your crowning moment. This message is not just for me, but for anyone who has been overlooked, underestimated and spoken ill of. God is saying, I'm reshaping their perspectives and stories. The misunderstanding, the betrayal, the persecution, all were part of a divine plan. God needed you to recognize who was meant to journey with you and who was not. For when he unravels your blessings, akin to a geyser erupting, when the massive shift in your life occurs, you will instantly discern who genuinely supports you and who is merely drawn to your success, your position, your wealth, or your status. While contemplating this insightful realization, I couldn't help but burst into laughter. It appeared as if a divine message resonated within me, conveying the notion of becoming accustomed to such occurrences. Prepare yourself for individuals exclaiming, ah, I recall her vividly. We were acquainted during our school days. Brace for encounters where people express eternal affection as if it had always been cherished. In this season of your life, your crowning moment, God is rewriting your narrative, redefining your relationships, and setting the stage for you to shine in all your glory. He is making way for your light to illuminate the world. It's your crowning moment. It's your time to shine. A multitude of individuals only join the bandwagon once they perceive the fruits of your labor, assuming you to be an overnight sensation. Little do they know, it took years, perhaps even months of sacrifices and unwavering obedience to God to reach the place you are today. They were oblivious to your journey because they underestimated you, didn't consider you to be the one to ascend to such heights. They overlooked you. But God is declaring in this season, in your crowning moment, that you will no longer be disregarded. He is placing you on a hill where your light cannot be obscured, where your radiance will be so brilliant that it will be impossible for anyone to ignore. Everyone will behold your luminosity, your divine spark. I hear it in my spirit, in the silence of the midnight hour. God is about to turn things around. Last week, I had a dream where God was emphasizing specific dates. These dates, specifically October 20th through the 27th. I don't know what significance this period holds for anyone watching this, but I urge you to embrace it by faith. Pray, for whatever God is orchestrating in this interval, it will be a time of divine fulfillment. You'll find yourself reminiscing about this period, feeling a sense of divine timing and thinking, it was about time. Expect a series of about-time moments that will leave you laughing in disbelief as God moves in miraculous ways to answer your prayers. This prophetic word might be for someone specific. Those dates of October 20th through the 27th were highlighted in my dream. God kept drawing my attention to them, indicating that something remarkable, something explosive, is about to occur in your life 
through you and around you. If you have the faith to believe it, seize it, pray over it, and watch God act on your behalf. I hope you can accept this blessed and prosperous word. Take it back to God. It's undoubtedly a prophetic word, but I want to remind you once again, this is your crowning moment. What exactly is the crowning moment? A crowning moment is the pinnacle or highlight of an event or achievement representing the ultimate culmination of success, glory, or recognition. God has positioned you on a hill. No more hiding. We've been talking about being the light of the world and about how God is getting us ready for something big, something we can't even imagine. Let's talk about readiness. Being ready doesn't mean we just sit around and wait for things to happen. It's about actively preparing ourselves, getting our hands dirty, and being proactive in our faith and actions. It's about getting rid of any baggage we might be carrying and freeing ourselves from doubts or fears. Now God keeps telling us we are this light, but being light is not just about shining, it's about being solid, being substantial. Light is the most substantial thing there is. It's everywhere, and it gets everywhere. It's real, it's physical. And I've been hearing a lot from God recently about sudden changes, about fast-paced shifts in our lives. He keeps showing me that this sudden shift is going to be more tangible, more physical, more real than we think. We've got to be ready to move, to act, to step up when the moment comes. I know many of you have felt unseen, like people just don't get who you are or what you are about. I've been there too, but God is saying that's about to change. People are going to see you, really see you, for who God made you to be. And I, I, you know, I've been talking to some friends and acquaintances about their experiences, about their feelings of being overlooked. And one thing that struck me is how often we don't see ourselves clearly. We let others define us, put labels on us. It's time to shake off those labels and see ourselves as God sees us. He knows our worth. He knows what we are capable of. There's a reason God is focusing on the relationships in our lives. It's often through these relationships that we define ourselves, that we understand our place in the world. But God is shaking up these perceptions, these definitions. He's making us look at ourselves and each other differently. When God puts us on that hill and makes our light visible to all, it's not just about being seen, it's about seeing. It's about understanding each other better, getting to the heart of who we are, and understanding the essence of those around us. It's about mutual respect, real connections, and genuine interactions. It's about being attentive, being alert to what God is doing in your life during that time, it's about understanding God's timing and being in sync with His plans. Guys, it's easy to get caught up in appearances, in the superficial aspects of life. It's easy to focus on success, wealth and status. But God is calling us to be more, to go deeper. He's calling us to be substantial, to have a genuine impact on the world around us. We need to remember, it's not about proving anyone wrong or showing off our success. It's about being authentic, being real. It's about living out our true selves, the selves that God created us to be. God is redefining our stories, showing us our true paths, our true selves. And yes, it's going to be surprising. It's going to be unexpected, but it's also going to be real, tangible. It's going to be about solid relationships, about real changes in our lives. So, Let's be ready, let's be substantial, let's be real. Let's be the light, not just shine the light. Let's get out there and live out our true stories, the stories that God is writing for us. Now let's pray real quick and to the point. Heavenly Father, with a heart filled with gratitude and reverence, we gather here today, united in spirit and faith. We come before you, humbled and uplifted, to offer a prayer. In this sacred moment, we lift our voices and souls to express our deepest appreciation for your profound message. May we open our hearts to receive these revelations, understanding the weight they carry in the spiritual realm. You, dear Father, are preparing us for a blessing so immense 
It resonates like an explosion, shaking the very foundations of our existence. We are humbled by the magnitude of your love, knowing that by the dawning of each new day, our lives can be transformed beyond our wildest imaginations. With awe and anticipation, we await the miracles you have ordained for us. Teach us, O Lord, to regard every individual with respect and kindness, understanding that their current state does not define their future. As you guide us on the path of growth and position us atop the hill, reveal to us the true colors of those around us. Help us discern those who genuinely support and uplift us from those who are drawn only to our success, position, wealth, or status. Father, as we embark on this journey towards our crowning moment, we are aware that you are rewriting our narratives, redefining relationships, and illuminating our paths. We stand in awe of your transformative power, for you are turning the words of our detractors into testimonies of faith. Grant us the wisdom to embrace these encounters with grace and understanding, recognizing that every misunderstanding, betrayal, and persecution was part of your divine plan. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Like the video and type amen if you believe in the Lord. Please support our ministry by clicking the thanks button and please consider joining us as a cherished member. Your generosity uplifts our mission. God bless you.